Folks, welcome to Tweefers Tech. We're going to do something a bit different today. If you're a bold chap like me, um, I've been shaving for about 25 years now, and I've been using either a Wilkinson sword or a Gillette, or you know, traditional wet shave. And while it is quick, convenient, I could probably do this with my eyes closed now. You know, um, after a while, you do get some irritation, and despite your best efforts, you will always get a bit of irritation. So I wanted to look at alternative ways of shaving my head. So I came across the TrimPod 2.0. There must have been a TrimPod 1.0, I've never heard of it, but this is the first one I've seen from Groom Hair. I've not heard of the company before, uh, but I originally looked into the Skull Shaver, the Skull Shaver Platinum and the Skull Shaver uh, Pitbull. They were getting a lot of uh, publicity. Uh, I have a couple of friends who've got them and they're very happy, but I couldn't really justify the price. So I went for something that was significantly cheaper, nearly half the price, um, and it was still getting some really good reviews. And it's got eight blades rather than four or five, so I thought that surely is going to be a better cut. One is something primarily for my head, but all my grooming needs, whether it's my body, lower regions, face, etc. So this seems like it had the, you know, the all-in-one solution. So uh, when I did order this, I went for the option to get the bag, um, you know, storage is really important for these kind of things. It's important that you uh, have a little case. So uh, this cost me an extra eight pound, I believe. Let's have a look at the actual base unit. I've opened it up because it's important to know how you clean this thing. So you open these up. Um, it can be a bit fiddly. I did this beforehand because I made a bit of a mess trying to film this before and I was just being a bit clumsy. But you need to turn this one and that comes off. I'm not gonna completely do it because I'm not very really good at doing it, but that's, you know, you give this a bit of a wash, you can rinse it under the tap, it's waterproof. Close these off, like so. And it isn't that hard to open, I just thought I'd open them beforehand. But what you do is you push this back and you hold it like so. And that's where all the hair is going to get trapped. Some will come out, but most of it's going to get stored. And that makes it really easy for cleaning purposes. You can see how nice and flexible these are, so that it should be quite comfortable on your head. Um, this is the main unit that we're going to be using for the head, and I would say use this only for the head and nothing else, because I used this on my neck on the first time I used it, and it went sore. So please do not use that for your neck uh, or any other sensitive areas. Um, you may be able to use this on your legs, I've seen uh, people use it on their legs and that's okay, but it's not really a sensitive area really. And I think it's going to depend on your skin type, you know, your skin condition, etc. It's going to vary. So that's the first one. Here's the actual unit itself. And you can charge it, I'll show the charging port in a minute. But there's other parts that you can add on to this. So this one's got three blades, let's put this on. Now typically, to get someone to get it in. Let's see. You have to find the right place. So obviously not as many blades, still flexible. Uh, this is going to be for your back of the neck, armpits, that kind of thing. Uh, really sensitive area. So I will start off using this with, with the back of my neck and then move on to that one. That's that. Next up we have the nose hair trimmer. Or you can do it in your ear as well. This is really good actually. It pulled on the very first time. After that, it worked really well, and I use this quite often. Um, the only thing about this is this plastic comes loose. Uh, so I don't know if that's faulty or me being a bit heavy handed. Make sure you pull it from the bottom of the base rather than the top because it will come apart. And we also have this part here, which is kind of like clippers basically. I'll use this to style and trim my beard. Um, you know, you can use it for the facial uh, hair as well, just trimming it down. But I find it quite quite small. I'm actually using uh, this one instead. I prefer using this for my face. Didn't enjoy using this for my face as much, but it is still pretty effective. It also comes with the add-ons. These go on like a traditional clipper. So I think there's four add-ons that come with that so that's quite useful so that's all the accessories um, when you put this back on and you want to keep it safe you also get this little uh, protection so that's pretty nifty uh, what else you get in the package is this charging dock it comes with a small type-c cable I'm not really using the cable 
Uh, I've got one set up for using my phone. So when I finish shaving, I'll keep this by my bedside. That will go on there, and it will, you know, usually light up and start charging. Um, you know, I'm not really sure how often I'm charging it. I don't need to do it every night because I'm only shaving like once every three or four days. So I'm probably shaving, uh, sorry, charging maybe once a week if that. It's quite quick when it comes to charging times. Um, but yeah, the build quality of this is really nice. Everything seems like it's intact. Nothing's going to fall apart. I think I mentioned this was the only part that was a bit uh, unsure of, but it, it does the job. Um, but what we'll do is, I was going to do a video of me actually showing you how to use the product so you can judge for yourself whether it is actually very good or not. We, what we're looking for is whether it will actually match a close shave, like that smooth, really clean shave look. Not many shavers can do that, but if you bear with me, we'll set it up and we'll give it a shot. Right, well previously in the video I did mention I was going to use the free blades for the sensitive area behind the neck before I actually use the eight blades. So I'll do that first. They do recommend circular motions. Uh, sometimes I feel up and down works better on the sensitive areas. So that's the back of my neck thumb. Now I put the eight piece on and we're gonna focus on the head. What I'll do is I'll just try shaving a little bit. You can do this with shaving foam. You can do it in the shower with water, but I'm gonna do it dry just to show you the results. And I think it, results do vary depending on the skin type, but let's give this a shot. Once again, circular motions is what's recommended. You can go against the grain or with. Now my stubble is probably coming up to five days old. You may be able to tell a difference quite soon actually. I'll just stop there for a minute. And I'm rubbing my finger on the head and it is really smooth. The good thing to note is that it does match the close shave, the close shave that you get from a razor. What I'll do is I'll carry on recording, we'll speed things up a little bit. You don't want to see the whole thing, we'll see the finished product. Right, now that did take a bit of time, and um, what I've done since then is put some water on because I think it helps the uh, device glide a bit better. You don't need shaving foam, but it moves a bit freely if you put some water on there. So I don't really recommend the dry shave, at least put some water on, and I can tell the difference straight away. I've been finding it easier to shave when it is wet, and you can see. Hopefully you can see that that is as close to close shave as it can be really. It's no better, but it's no worse. It feels smooth. I think the thing to note here is it will take longer than your traditional conventional razor blade. And so to note, you know, it's if you've got time, you know, it's worth using. But if you're in a rush, maybe this isn't for you. It does the job, it really does. It just takes longer. And one thing it does struggle with around the years, I'm normally quite fussy. Uh, I seem to have done a little bit, but I know I've still got a few bits there. So I, I will still have to use this. And what I do is I just go around the edges, getting those hard to reach areas. It seems to still struggle there. So um, I'm not sure if anyone else is facing that. 
it's a minor thing, but if you're looking to get a device that does it all, it doesn't do it all. It's like a good companion, you know, and it, it's easy to clean, it's going to cause less irritation, and I think that's something that's really important. Would it replace the razor uh, that I've been using for 25 years? No, it won't. It does shave as close as the razor. And um, one thing to consider is maybe look at the alternative brands, the um, the Skull Shaver, which is noticeably more expensive. It would be interesting to know if that does a better shave than this. It has less blades, but maybe the technology is different. I'm tempted to try it for now. I'm considering returning this, um, but I still do enjoy using it. It is really useful. Um, the accessories that it comes with, I'll show you the other ones actually. One for the nose here. I'm not going to do that because you don't really need to see that. This is really useful. Uh, the clipper add on, that's really good as well. Um, I guess, you know, they've obviously designed it so that you can cover different parts of the body. I guess some people would argue it would be better to have one unit that does it all. Uh, but ultimately, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the device. You know, it's good value for money. The idea is it can match the shave of a shaving blade. Um, you just need a bit more time. So, I'm still a bit undecided as to whether I want to keep it. I'm, I'm going to use it a bit more, but I think I'm getting to that stage where I need to return it. You've got 30 days to return it if you're not happy. So I'm going to have a little think about that. But I do recommend it. Um, just don't buy it if you think you're going to replace the razor completely. And I know this will vary depending on your skin type, your hair condition, etc. It's going to vary, but it is a good product. And we've come a long way since the razors that we had a few years ago. Um, but if you are considering using it, give it a shot. I do recommend it. Thanks again for tuning in to Tweepers Tech. Uh, stay tuned for my next episode. See you soon.